Good morning guys, welcome back to Triple L Rustic Designs. In today's video, we are cutting a very special species on the sawmill. And Zoe's not here today to join us because she's at work. She still has a full-time job and that's mainly because I can't get you guys to like, subscribe, and share these videos. Statistics show that 98% of you guys watching these videos aren't subscribed to the channel. So go down there, right below this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, like this video, that's that thumbs up button, and share this video to all your friends. That'll really help us out and hopefully that'll get Zoe out here full time on the sawmill with us. So as far as cutting this log today, like I said, it's a very special species and it's something that we have never cut here at our sawmill. This is Osage Orange. This is a very rare wood that comes from central to northern United States. This log in particular came from Kentucky and it's from a customer who brought us our first black walnut slabs that we ever cut here on our sawmill. If you haven't watched that video where we cut those black walnut slabs, you're gonna have to scroll back about a year and a half because that's the last time we cut black walnut. But we're very excited today to cut this Osage Orange. The customer wants it cut into five quarter slabs. So we're gonna be using our Woodmiser quarter scale depth gauge to cut it. That should make it nice and simple because that depth scale accounts for the kerf that you lose when cutting these logs. Everything I've read about Osage Orange is that it's a very dense material. Today we're gonna to be using our Wintersteiger blades from LA Cutting Products, and hopefully it should handle it pretty well. I'm, I'm pretty confident in those Wintersteiger blades, but this wood is what they use to make bow, like bow and arrow handles, uh, tool handles, anything that needs a good solid wood that's what they use this Osage Orange for. So this customer has brought us two of these Osage Orange logs. So we're gonna get them up on the sawmill, start cutting them into five quarter slabs. Before we get started cutting today, I wanna show you guys something really cool. Our friend Eric and his son Ryan from the company Make A Wood Sign made us this custom Triple L Rustic Design sign all by hand with a router. Eric has almost 46,000 subscribers on YouTube where he makes videos teaching people how to make custom signs like this, all with a hand router. Eric and his son Ryan are extremely talented and I would encourage you guys to head over to their YouTube channel, check them out, and see two different videos where they show how they made this sign. Eric and his son Ryan actually came down a couple weeks ago for a fishing trip here in Florida and they stopped by the shop to visit us. However, Zoe and I were on our baby moon vacation out west, so we weren't here to meet them, but they met with dad they checked out the sign and they took a tour of our facility. Eric and Ryan, thank you guys so much for making us this sign. It's really incredible. And once the store's done on the inside, we're gonna be hanging it inside above our desk for every customer to see when they come by. Dad just made his first cut into that Osage orange log and just like everybody else who's talked about it on the internet, it has a very distinctive sawdust. It's like, the camera's not gonna do it justice, but it's like a neon yellow sawdust. So I'm excited to see what this slab's gonna look like on the inside. <laughs> wow, it's like a, like a honey mustard yellow color, crazy. I think that turns more of an orangish color as it dries, but what a unique wood. They should call this the honey mustard log. That's our first cut. Dad's gonna start dropping it down now, making five quarter slabs out of this entire log. A 
it do? What did it do? Cutting these short logs like this often causes issues on our LT15. The LT15 has all manual log clamps and log stops. And since there's not a log clamp or log stop on every single section, you're, we're always trying to find the best spot to place it, to clamp it down. And sometimes it doesn't work. So the log on that last cut that we were about to do started moving. Um, Dad stopped the blade. So we flip the log over to the flat side. We've got it clamped down pretty good right now. Hopefully it doesn't move, but if it moves and shifts while the blade is inside, it could cause that blade to twist and snap and we don't want that to happen. So hopefully this is secure. One day, maybe we'll be fortunate enough to upgrade to one of the hydraulic versions that has log levelers and everything. But right now, this is what we got. Cutting this Osage log has turned out to be quite the struggle. Woodmiser, if you're watching this, make a better rail clamping system on these LT15s. People who buy these starter sawmills are gonna wanna cut smaller little logs like this. So make it possible to be able to cut a little log like this. Make it where there's clamps on every single one so you can clamp it properly. What would have taken probably 30 minutes to cut this log is gonna take three hours now because we can't get it to clamp down properly anywhere.
Well, we just got done cutting that Osage orange into the five quarter slabs. That wasn't as fun as I thought it was gonna be. That wood has got to be the densest wood, most dense, densest wood that we've ever cut on the sawmill. It's very unique, looks pretty cool. It's got a lot of voids on the inside, but that wasn't fun cutting it because it's such a hard material that it was very rough on the sawmill. Like that blade was struggling to get through there. And that's a winter, winter Steiger double hard four degree blade. So it was still struggling, but cool looking wood. We got one more log. We'll cut into some five quarter slabs and then we'll be done for the day. We've got that second Osage orange log up here on the sawmill. Hopefully it goes smoother than the first, but we're gonna start cutting into it. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video guys. Osage orange, not a fan. It's uh, basically like cutting rocks on the sawmill. Um, pretty sure that blade is toast, but it was a cool experience finally cutting this species on the sawmill. 
definitely won't be taking any more in the future. Um, if you guys liked how these Osage orange slabs turned out, go ahead and drop a comment down below letting me know what you think. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you wanna get Zoe out here full time, I need you guys to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Hopefully in the near future, we can get her out here full time with us. Right now, I'm only getting her about one to three days a month out here at the sawmill. So that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe for all of our future videos, and we'll see you on the next one.